بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو اسٹار اکیڈمی سبسکرائب ٹو آر چینل پریس دا بیل آئیکن ڈونٹ فرگیٹ ٹو لائک کمنٹ اینڈ شیئر ود یور فرینڈس ڈیئر لرنر دا ٹاپک آف ٹوڈیز لیسن از ٹائپس آف میٹافر ود دس یو ول لرن What is a metaphor? Purposes of metaphor in writing Different types of metaphor What is a dead metaphor? What is a mixed metaphor? How to write a good metaphor? How often should we use metaphor in writing and examples of metaphor in literature? These are some objectives of our today's lesson. So let's start first with what is a metaphor. We define metaphor is it is a common figure of speech that makes a comparison by directly relating one thing to another unrelated thing. Unlike similes, metaphor do not use words such as like or as to make comparison. In similes, we use word as or like for comparison, but in metaphor, we do not use these words. Example of metaphor is very common example of uh, William Shakespeare as you like it. Here all the world is a stage and all the men and women merely players. Shakespeare is comparing the world to a stage by saying one is the other. However, he doesn't believe the world is a literal stage. The comparison is rhetorical. By comparing the world to a stage and the people in the world as players on it, he is inviting us to think about the similarities between the two and by extension the meaning of human nature and our place in the world now second objective it is a direct comparison between two different things at their most basics metaphor are used to make a direct comparison between two different things in order to assign a particular quality to the first but beyond simple comparison metaphors have two clear purposes that will strengthen your writing to paint a fast picture in a reader mind sometimes what you need the reader to understand can't be described in a few sentences you just need to show them what you mean In such instances a metaphor works best. For example, you might want to show why your main character is frustrated with his wife. Instead of spending time describing her tedious behavior, you can have your character compare her to the lights in their apartment, easily switched on and off. To infuse some uncertainty into a situation As much as a metaphor can help illuminate a thought or scene it can also help to give it a touch of mystery for example if you would like to hint to the reader that there is something ominous about a location you could use a metaphor the forest at night was beautiful the trees were black knife slices the moon a bone rising in the sky types of metaphor there are some types of metaphor we will discuss some most important number 1 standard metaphor a standard metaphor is one that compares two unlike things using the basic construction a is b for example as we discussed earlier william shakespeare's all the worlds
is as sleek, fast and cool as the wild animal. An extended metaphor An extended metaphor is a variant of metaphor that extends over the course of multiple lines, paragraph or stanzas of prose or poetry. Extended metaphors build upon simple metaphors with figurative language and more varied descriptive comparisons. Dead metaphor A dead metaphor is that which has shifted meaning over time due to our use. Dead metaphors don't convey an image in the mind in the same way that standard implied or visual metaphors do, because their original interpretation has long been lost. Examples include kicking the bucket, mixed metaphor. Mixed metaphors are often reserved for comedy. They deliberately combine two metaphors that are incongruous or outright absurd. Here we start with a metaphor comparing heat and ice, but then we switch to a metaphor involving the beat of her own drum. It makes for a less than congruous connection, as the reader must jump from one metaphor to the next so suddenly in the heat of the moment she turned to eyes and danced to the beat of her own drum a watched clock never boils a rolling stone is worth two in the bush absolute metaphor These metaphors are tricky groups. They compare two things that are not related. Instead of painting a fetching scene, readers might be fetching your book from the fireplace. These are also known as paralogical metaphors or anti-metaphors. They can frustrate the readers if they do not understand the connection you are making between the two. Or worse, you face crafting a line that was meant to be insightful, but just come to understand our ideas of Shakespeare like. Many good metaphors use everyday language and images that readers can immediately understand and relate to. It means you should use simple language for this device. Metaphor should be 
in simple language. Original Think about the imagery you are trying to evoke for the reader and do not pick the first comparison that comes to your mind. Compare the effect of these two metaphors, the first the easier choice and the second pushed a little further. The snow is a white blanket and then the second one the snow is a scattering of unopened loved letter. So before using a metaphor select three to four metaphors for yourself and then decide which is more effective. How often should we use metaphor in writing? Use metaphors carefully. Avoid excessive use of metaphor because it can create the risk of confusing or distracting readers. The point of your story is not to impress your readers with clever phrases and metaphors. It is to hold their attention and tell a great story. If a metaphor can serve that greater goal, then use it. If it doesn't, avoid it. Examples of metaphor in literature. Example number one from The Sun Rising by John Dunn. Example number two is also very famous. It is from the poem Hope by Emile Dickinson. And example number three, the storm. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.